Hi everyone, God bless. This is my updated skincare routine and these are the products I'll be using to show you. This is my AM products that I'll be using throughout the video or showing you or talking about and this is my PM regimen as well. So please continue to watch, get a pencil and paper, God bless. Basically I'm going to be just doing my, ugh, I'm lost. Anyways, let's do this again. Hi everyone, God bless. Today I'll be showing you my recent skincare routine. So please bear with me because I know it's a lot. Um, but first of all, I start off with Illuminating Rich Cleanser Foam by Anu. I love this stuff. It's cheap and a little bit goes a long way. I always make a mistake that I end up putting a lot and then it, it takes, you know, I'm wasting products. What I'm going to do is just start. Usually I do this in the shower. This step, my cleansing, I always do it in the shower and then I do it in the morning, of course, in the sink. Um, but I pat my face just wet and t I'm telling you people, a little bit goes a long way. That's come when you, skincare is so important. Um, this is all I'm going to use. I'm literally, I'm being honest. That's all I'm going to use. Um, our skin is very important. It's the only one we have, the only one that God gave us. So we need to take care of it. Do you see what I'm saying? That a little bit goes a long way. So if you invest in your skincare, it's not gonna it's not gonna be bad. Cause and it foams up. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is, and I know I'm rambling because I was more concerned about my camera recording. And this is the first time I'm using my ring light. My camera's higher, so I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? But anyways. We have to, after what, at least once a week or twice a week, depending on your skin type, we have to exfoliate our skin because I heard many individuals saying, oh, my makeup or my, my skin looks horrible. The makeup I'm using is horrible. The skincare is horrible. It's not working. Did you exfoliate? Because if you don't exfoliate, you're not removing the dead skin cells. So basically, I'm going to give you a visual. So this is my skin and this is my dead skin. So it accumulates our dead skins, you know, because it sheds. But if you don't remove it, you're putting your lotions on it, your mat, you know, all your other cool stuff on it. It's not going to penetrate your skin unless you remove your dead skin cells. So I hope that was a brief visual. So I'm going to take this off. And you saw a little bit goes a long way. And usually I do this in the shower, my cleansing in the shower. But for the sake of me um, explaining it to you, I got a big, giant, big, giant, big, warm bowl of water and this cloth to remove it. Now, also from the skincare line from Avon is the, I have the Refining Daily Scrub. This is so gentle that you could use this daily, but I don't recommend it daily if you have sensitive skin. I use it twice a week and that's enough. And again, a little bit goes a long way. So what I do is just take some of my fingers and just scrub my five points. That's all I'm doing, people. My five points. And then I exfoliate it. I just in a circle of motion. And you feel the, the, the grinds. I'm gonna see if I could if the camera will focus on my fingers, the little grinds. And again, you saw a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to. And I focus on my T zone. Cause that's where I, I got large pores and I do this every every day I'm serious not every day like twice so depending on my skin I do wear a lot of makeup sometimes and it accumulates so and then I just wash it off and again I do this in the shower because I have everything right next to the shower and I just grab it and do it there and then so um, but for the sake of the video, like I mentioned, I'm going here. Um, and it's very important that you apply moisturizer in the daytime that have SPF because the skin, the ozone layer is so thin now that the sun rays is hitting our skin even stronger. So we have to protect our skin. And usually I take this to the neck, but I'm not going to do it today. But just take it down to the neck too. Now the skin 
believe it or not, why I'm taking this off and I'm probably rumbling. I'm hoping this video is not long, so I'm going to edit it to be quick. Um, the skin under our eye is the same as under on our hands. That's why when you see a woman age, the area of the eye ages and also the top of the hand. You're like, oh, you know, why? So you have to take care of your hands as well. And I have to admit that's the area because I work with kids so my hands are uh, it's underwater most of the day. So it becomes very dry. So after that's done, guys, I have this mask which I love, 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 love. It's um, by Jeffro. It's Beauty Dynamics Mer 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 Malibu Miracle Mask. I've been using this for years now. That's what it looks like. I'm going to try to tip it over without it spilling. That's what it looks like, guys. It's like a pink. It has a pleasant smell. Usually I take and I mix it with something. But of course, my little stick, my spatula is in the bathroom. So I'm mixing it with my finger. And I'm apply this mask to my face. Now that I exfoliated my skin, and this mask I do it once a week. So now that I exfoliated my skin, I'm placing this mask. And I think I put an Instagram picture <laughs> with me with my mask on. And I just sometimes just take drink some tea and um and it feels so good. It has a pleasant and it has like this little, I, I'll get closer. So, I'm not sure how close I am, but. Again, I'm very excited with my ring light. It's brighter. So I'm not sure how it looks in the camera. If it's bright enough, let me see. Okay, that's bright. <laughs> Sorry I got up, people. I'm recording. It's the first time I'm actually using my ring light recording. And then I close the lid. I actually ordered from there because this lasts me a while. So I ordered a mud mask, so I'll be getting that soon. And I will leave this on for like 10 it says like 10 15 minutes yeah it all says 20 minutes so i'm gonna leave it on while i talk to you so people um what i do also is after i cleanse my face okay first step i cleanse my face i exfoliate it and then I'm applying this mask. This step I usually do at least twice, um, twice a week because I do have um, psoriasis, which is just a fancy name for dandruff on the skin. Um, but towards the winter, I get it more a little bit more. So it's just basically you start seeing patches of skin that's starting to lift, and you have to, you know, I take it off with tweezers gently and moisturize it. After I cleanse my skin, first of all, when I remove my makeup which is part of your skincare routine when you remove your makeup. I just use this. I bought this from um, Target's oil-free eye makeup remover. And it's the one that has like half of it. Looks like if it's oil, but it's not. And that's what I use to remove my makeup. Most of the time, I cleanse my skin also. Sometimes, um, and this is good for when you're traveling in or you don't have access to a sink with water or something. But sometimes when I don't, the harsh waters, the, the stuff in the water sometimes, is, excuse me, it just, um, my skin doesn't do well with it. So I use this micellar um, cleansing water and you can tell it's it's empty, but I have another bottle behind me. This is my third bottle. I sensitive, um, for sensitive skin and it removes even waterproof makeup. So this is what I've been using. And all I do is after I remove my makeup with the eye makeup remover, I just take some cotton swabs and the one I buy and I've been buying a lot is because this one from Ulta and this is what I remove my makeup with and I use my micellar water with and because this um, cotton this pad this cotton pad it doesn't have um, lint neither side does not have lint because I've bought many that has says that says it doesn't have lint and it has lint and it goes those little fibers going to your eye and it's horrible you don't see it because it's so thin, so tiny it just irritates my eyes 
So I found that one. I love it to death and I've been buying it every since. The pack costs $4.99 but again, you know, I wear contacts and I will not like those little tiny fibers under my contacts. Trust me, it's very uncomfortable. And usually after I cleanse my skin, I put my vitamin C in this halfway. It's my second bottle. Vitamin C from Avon. And what this does is evens out my skin tone. My skin tone is pretty good. It's not that, you know, that's what I do during the day. And then I follow it by my I know AHA refining cream. And this is what I use at night time after I do that step. Um, depending on how my skin feels, if it feels tight and it just needs an extra boost of moisturizing or stuff like that, I have been using this. I love this stuff and it's, I also posted it on my Instagram. It's a skin therapy oil by Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. It has vitamin E, but also has retinol, vitamin C, and restores the oils along with it just restores all the moisture in your skin. So this is something I also put in. I'm not sure if the camera's capturing, but it's kind of empty. I mean, so I have to be buying this soon. A little bit again goes a long way. So that was this is what I use at nighttime. This stuff after I cleanse and whatever. The, these three things. Now during the day after I cleanse my skin, I use toner to take anything else that was, you know, during the night. And then I just use this, the Avon Elements Youth Restoring Multi-Purpose Lotion with Serum. This has SPF of 20, so it's very economical, but a little bit goes a long ways, and it feels really nice on your skin. For my eyes at nighttime, I've been using the new Clinical Eye Lift Pro. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing on it. And it's a dull, and I'm running out, sorry. This one I put on my lid and this one I'm under my eye. And I'm running out, as you can see. I love this stuff. Now, during the day, I put on my Clinique All About Eyes Rich Reduces Circle Puffs. And that's what I use. This I just purchased. I love the way it feels, so I've been using that. See, that's what it looks like inside. It's very nice. And then after I clip, before I put my moisturizer to my skin, once in a while, what I've been noticing also, um, if I just need my skin to feel fresh, long, I had a long day, I just want something to feel fresh, or I don't even put, want to put moisturizer, I'm just, my skin is, I, I use the Burt's Bee, Burt's Bee Rose Toner. I bought this when I was in Georgia. I love it. So I, that's okay, an occasion. I don't, you know, use it often. Um, another thing with my, my mask is, and I'm not going to leave it all 20 because I just did it the other day. I just wanted to show you what I do. Castor oil. I've been using castor oil on my hair. This is why in the beginning of the video it looked horrible and so you'll see the bloopers at the end. I was having a rough time during the beginning of the movie. I use castor oils on my eyebrows and on my hair because I want it to grow. Because of course when I'm 49 so my hair has been thinning out. So, um, that's what I've been using as my skin. I know it seems a lot lit people, but it's not really a lot, you know. And in the summer, half the time, I, I put barely this because my skin gets oily in a T-zone. So, like I said, just to wrap up before I take my mask, and then I'll, I'll just put my moisturizer, and you'll see what I... And I'm going to put it as I'm doing it today. My cleanser, I exfoliated. And these are big bottles, so they long, a little bit goes a long way, and they'll last you f for a while. So after that, um, during the day, I put my eye creams after... I could either use this one for mo morning. After I cleanse, I either use this toner, or you, you could have the option of using this toner. Either or, I like using a toner afterwards. It just preps my skin for the moisturizer. And then I put the um, my face lotion with SPF and my eye cream. This is during the day. At night time, it changes. At night time, I either use these two and then this one over. It might be refining cream. Because at night time when we sleep, our skin is reju it's, um, rejuvenating. It's, um, oh my God, I can't even talk. It's um, 
repairing itself. So it's good that you put good stuff in your skin before you go to bed that's going to help you with your skin during that healing process and repairing process. So that's very important. And then of course I do my, my do I use the, my night side cream at night time. And it, the other one's nice too because just this is, I like this one as my skin repairs. So I showed you my morning and my evening this is what i do all the time before i go to bed after I do my skincare routine i put this on my lips and this i've been doing this for years the carmax it's 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 cheap and i'm telling you it helps your lips when you get up in the morning it's supple because again you know and once and then once occasionally i exfoliate my skin my lips with mary Kay. Um, lip mask the packaging is new now but this is the one I have the lip mask and then I you could apply either the balm X or the the um, lip balm also from Mary, Mary Kay but either or that I only do that like once a week or twice so be depending on um, how your lips feel so I'm gonna shut off the camera and um, rinse off this mask okay so I'll be hi everyone I'm back I just took off my mask it's a little bit challenging because uh, you know you have to make sure you got you get it all off because of the stuff it contains now my skin is freshly cleansed so because it's daytime still it's early i'm going to put my clinique eye cream i like putting in my eye cream before i do you know what let's do let's do my toner just because sorry let's backtrack that guys i'm going to do my toner but today i'm going to use my rose water toner and I'm going to use it with my time from um, Ulta again the package cross corner and just shake it. it doesn't need to be shaked but I do I'm paranoid and again this is a cotton that doesn't have no lint that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna put the toner over my face I love the smell of rose water my mom when she was alive, she died in 88, 1988, when my first daughter was born. So she never got to meet none of, meet none of my grandchildren, unfortunately. Um, I used to see her take little, um, the petals of the rose, roses and put them um, inside this little um, jar of water. So she would leave it there for like a good week. And that's what she used to use as a toner. So I was like, oh, cool. My mom started me using skincare since i was i think 11 when she first bought me my first oil volé pink bottle and my cleanser was noxzema so that was my skincare so it was so cool that at that age she really got me hooked on skincare since i was young trust me um so after that dries then i'm gonna do my eye cream i use the ring finger because it's the lightest one your ring finger doesn't put all that pressure now, believe it or not, I've seen women that just rubs their eye cream, drives me nuts, or neglect all this area. And when you see an aging woman and they smile, the fine line starts all here before all this area. So I start from back here and start applying my skincare all in this area here and patting motion. Patting motion, all the eye area, all this area, and then here. So that's what I do. And this is bad. I'm going to get closer so you can see what I mean. You see, I'm 49, people. You see how this starts my fine lines when I smile? And when I don't smile, you know, it's less button. You know, and many women, young girls who have, you know, what they call laughing lines or smile lines, doesn't, they're not, you know, a, um, wrinkles or anything. It's just they have what they call laughing lines or something. I don't know expression lines whatever now I'm focusing on this area here and then here now I'm not wearing makeup today because after I do a nice mask and exfoliate my skin I don't want to put nothing no makeup on it because then you know I want my skin to allow itself to to soak all this in and now I'm going to do my moisturizer I'm not going outside for any reason but I'm still going to put my day moisturizer I'm not going to put my night cream this is all I need people seriously I used to put a whole bunch thinking the more the merrier nope wrong 
and still this was a lot still so you're gonna see a lot of shines because I that little small piece eyes was still a lot but that's me so if you notice my skin has like this glowy feel if it, it looks glowy it's because my skin like exfoliated to the dead skin cells off I'm gonna pull a little bit from my neck can neglect that area of people seriously um, that's on my mad eye. Then after I spread it, then I start upper motion. Because my skin, my neck, and my face is not bad for a 49 year old. I'm not too trying to be conceited, but I'm just trying to show you. Now, if you see this red area, that's where my psoriasis is. All the red patches are my psoriasis. Um, but also, I did scrub, so, but. So people, this is my skincare routine. Um, I will take pictures of my day, my evening. And if you, and once again, people, you have to remember the eyes are very delicate. Um, and this is starting, it gets start to droop. This is why I use the um, Eye Lift Pro because once it starts drooping, you know, I try, I'm, I'm trying to use products that prolong that process from you know preventive measures I'm taking preventive measures from this dripping even more so if I could keep it firm longer that'd be hey I'm not doing any surgeries I'm you know this woman that if they could afford it hey go for it but I'm aging gracefully um, the Lord has blessed me with good skin with my mother um, teaching me in a young age so this is my skin this I know this might be too much people I'm sorry but this is what I use honestly this is what I use <laughs> um and I'm always looking for better eye creams better skincare because you know people do research and they find ingredients that once they do a study on it it works amazing so people god bless i am not going to take this off because i'm not going to scare you so please if you enjoyed this video click like and subscribe and once again i'm enjoying my skin <sighs> so god bless Welcome to my channel. I am going to show you how to put my hair back, so bear with me. My recent skincare routine. Um, yes, and this is actually, excuse my hair, hold on, I'll make sure then. Oh, sorry guys, I will do this better. Hi you guys, oh my goodness. Good morning friends, oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, this one, poop, right off. I thought that'd be bad. Okay, let's start this all over again. Oh, Hi, everyone. God bless. I just want to give you a recent, one of my, well, my most recent skincare routine that I do every morning and night. You're going to think I'm nuts and I apologize in advance. I know you guys may think I'm taking it to extremes, but this is actually what I do every morning and night. First of all, um, I know, I'm crazy. So, first of all, what I've been using lately to cleanse my skin is the um, Illuminating Rich Cleanser Foam. Normal, normal combination skin because I tend to get, I usually use a gel during the summer. Because, you know, it's warm around and stuff like that. So, uh, my husband always tells me stuff like that. You always say stuff like that. Uh, anyways, so this is from By The New Line. I love this. It's a little bit close, a long way, people. Um, so, and then after that...